patients with existing respiratory conditions are at risk for developing more severe cases of COVID-19. There are a lot of factors that contribute to respiratory conditions, including genetic factors, behaviors like smoking, and environmental characteristics like air quality. A lifetime of inhaling air that is polluted with particulate matter or irritating gases can exacerbate existing respiratory conditions. And even in healthy people, inhaling particulate matter, nitrogen dioxide, or ozone can damage or irritate airways. This may contribute to the likelihood of infection upon exposure or the severity of disease upon infection. However, we can't actually quantify the direct impact of air pollution on COVID-19. Many areas with high levels of air pollution that have had large outbreaks of COVID-19, we also see a number of confounding factors, like high population density, which leads to increased transmission between people and creates larger outbreaks. In the wake of large-scale coronavirus-related shutdowns in manufacturing and movement, we've seen a noticeable improvement in air quality. As we develop ways to incorporate these activities into our new COVID-resilient communities, it's reasonable to think that efforts to maintain cleaner air will contribute to health improvements in a number of ways. Mm -hmm.